and in the beginner's version. We already have a video up about how to set this up and the link is in the description box below. So, we have our board set up and we're ready to play. So, the red player will go first. And he got a two. So, the two is here, which means the red player gets wool. And I am going to make a development card. So, these are development cards. And they give you a point depending on what you get. Well, yeah, some of them will give you points. Some of them will allow you to move the robber, which we'll address later. And some of them just give you supplies. All right. <clears throat> My turn now. So white player. And roll a two. a two. So the red player gets another wool. Hmm. Do you want to make anything, white player? Well, actually, I don't um, think you can make yeah, anything. Yeah, I can't make anything because the starting resources, you can't make anything. You need to earn your resources. I rolled a ten. Yay! Oh, the white, the red player gets ore, and nobody gets the other one. The red player is consuming everything. A five. So, yay! I get bricks. And you also get sheep. Wool. Yay, whatever you I call get it. Sheep. Wool. I, I am going to make another. another development card. Oh, please. Let's hope it's something else. Because knights are the, major the majority of the deck, although they can be helpful. Oh, wait, and I forgot to play this. He's playing okay, this. So, the, when you play a knight, you, you can't play a development card on the first turn you get it, but you can play it the next turn. So what he's doing is he can move the robber anywhere he wants. And he wants to try and put it where it will, so wherever the robber is put, it will block off all resources coming in from there. So even if a five is rolled, these people will not get resources. All right, my turn. Wait, I am going to steal a card. Oh, yeah. Um, yes, and when also you have the robber, you get to steal a card from a person who you're blocking resources from. No. He got four. So mean. All right. You don't have to be so dramatic. Eight. Eight. Yay! I get logs. Because she's bordering the woods. And I get, get four. four. Okay. And now, before... Hmm, actually, say... <clears throat> Red plant. I will trade you a log for an ore. Mmm. Trading is a big deal in this game, um, especially if you have um, a settlement around here. Because as the game progresses, you can build settlements around the beach. Thank you. And when you build them around the beach, you can get the maritime trade, which is really helpful. So he traded me his ore for one of my logs, and now I can make me a city with three ore and two hay. Cities, wherever they're placed, if wherever they're intersecting with a hex, they give you double the resources whenever you roll it. And also, cities have to be placed where there's already a settlement. So I'm going to replace my settlement with a city. And cities give you double the points of a settlement. So it's like a big bonus. All right, okay, everybody last fi turn. Final roll. For everybody. Three. Yes. I get four. And, and I get logs. Would you like to do anything? Yeah, I think I'm going to build a road and then maybe a settlement. Roads don't get you any victory points. Oh, wait, points. I can't build a settlement this. Uh, I'm going to build, yeah, I'm going to build a road. So they don't give you any points, but you need a road in order to build a settlement. And then you need a settlement in order to build a city. Yeah, so it all builds on top of it. Put it right there. All right. And yep, that concludes this video. So make sure to share this video and subscribe and comment below on who you think will win this game. Thanks. I, I think it's going to be me. Bye. Bye.